Okay, welcome to rtcrescue.com. Today we're going to do a quick curve video showing some different techniques. So we're not going to have too much chat. What we're going to be looking at is some space creation. As you can see, vehicle on its roof. What we're not going to be using today is hydraulics. And uh, one of the techniques we're going to show you to remove this rear door is what we call non-destructive space creation, which is uh, a term someone's uh, used uh, to me before in the past. And I think it's uh, quite a good term for what we're going to do. Basically, we're going to remove the door without doing any cutting, creating any sharp objects or any hazards to the rescuer by using tools such as a torque wrench um, and other battery powered tools. We're going to use no hydraulics at all today and we're just going to simulate some, uh, create some techniques so that you can see what can be achieved without always using hydraulics. Alright, so first of all we're going to get in here you can see here, fortunately this door's open, yeah? We can't get it open anymore because we've got the window frame coming into contact with the ground. We've got some basic stability set into the vehicle just for demonstration purposes on this video. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the window frame to enable us to pull this door forward more and then we're going to ratchet it back. Okay, let's see how we get on from there. Okay, for this part, part of the extrication techniques, what we're using is 110 volt Milwaukee reciprocated saw. Movement on the storm, what we can do is we cut through the check strap. For those that aren't sure what the check strap is, it's this little piece here that holds the door. By cutting that, it'll let us open the door that little bit more, giving us that little bit more space. We get a hook in there. As you can see there, using that rope ratchet. Excellent piece of equipment, we've just secured the door back. Onto a tow and eye. And that's secured the door back. As I said earlier, one of the techniques, techniques you can do, obviously you can see this door does open. We should we have damage, for the lock mechanism, this door does open. One of the other techniques we can use is by using a core drill is to core a hole somewhere in the vicinity of the door lock. Hopefully, you'll be able to reach in with your finger and activate the door, lock, door latch. It does require very good vehicle knowledge and understanding. Um, sometimes you might not always locate it straight away. I'm going to attempt it now and see what happens. You'd think I'd get it right, but every vehicle's different. So we'll have a go. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll just open the door with a handle. Again, here, what you can see I've got is stand Milwaukee uh, B28 with a quarter drill in it. And all we're going to do is call a little hole for here, see if we can locate the mechanism and open the door that way. Drilling that hole obviously didn't work in that situation. You can see a, a different video on the website. I'm purely demonstrating that technique and it does actually work. What we do is if we zoom in here, there's two rods. 
obviously as you can see this is quite a deep door and the rods are quite some way on this side of the vehicle but you can see in here had you had a bigger core drill here maybe you could get your hand in you could just pull one of these rods from the other side of the vehicle you can see by pulling this one here that's operating the lock and this one here as you can see moving you can see it moving all we'd have to do is pull that from inside the vehicle yeah now I've activated the latch okay so I know you could think well and the outer latch is damaged we may be able to just core that little drill hole and get an entry that way without having to use any hydraulics as you said in this situation it hasn't worked uh, but there you go you can see why I've got nothing to hide on this video I'm not going to, as I say, none of my videos are prepped, nothing always goes to plan. I'm just showing you alternative little techniques that we can use. Now what we're going to do is, we know that door opens. Okay, excellent. As you see now, we've got the door open. Okay, we've had a look on the other door and we've seen the mechanism inside. So on this door, fortunately for us, it's opened. Uh, as I say, just another technique. What we're looking at now, this is the beauty of what we call non-destructive space creation what we can do now is we can access the bolts on this rear door and as you can see now what we're going to do is use a torque wrench uh, simply to unbolt this door and take it away simple as that uh, fantastic bit of kit very easy to use no noise no disruption of the casualties no loud bangs no tearing of metal no jolts to the vehicle um, you don't need a teardrop you don't need any casualty protection because in this instance all we're doing is undoing a few bolts should you feel there is a risk of any broken glass or contaminants going near any of the other rescuers or casualties, then obviously use the correct uh, casualty rescuer protection, teardrop, soft protection, etc. Okay, right, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to show you we've got to unbolt the check strap. So, again, on this situation, not every vehicle is the same. We're not always going to be able to do this on every vehicle. But we can see that check strap is being held in by a couple of hex bolts. Yeah, if you're lucky enough on your kit and you've got a little carry some hex bits in your kit we've got one here one end of our torque wrench so we're quite fortunate for this video and as you can see around here once we've done that we're just going to get in hopefully to these bolts and unbolt the door and hopefully if all goes to plan take it away in one piece <laughs> 